lift as well as a high <laughs> as the booty sits. I'm telling you. I am absolutely appalled. Yeah. Feel very free and sexy. <laughs> No, too many, too many. I have to replace myself with food today. But what? Oh. What is up, beautiful people? My name is Helen. I am a fitness enthusiast, podcaster, vlogger, radio and TV personality, auntie. Welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Today I'm just doing a regular vlog, regular schmegler. I actually don't have too much to report other than I'm dealing with a very, very sick puppy. It's day two of having to go to the vet, so I'm getting ready to head on out. But today was another incredible morning at, on a radio. So let's get into tales from the web. It is official. Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. is officially president of the United States of America. Uh, Kamala Harris is the country's first Madam Vice President and Lady Gaga sang the national anthem. Amazing. But it would appear that Bernie Sanders has, uh, you know... Breathtaking, I think. Breathtaking, we I like should, how should, he calls it. We learn from, from them. If we have a fear of Wendy Shea or, you know, someone like that. Just just so yes, the main part of the working day today is done um as i mentioned i am taking the dog to the vet and then i'm actually going to take him to visit um two of his friends to see if they can cheer him up and maybe encourage him to eat i don't know how that works but i'm sure there is some connection there some somewhere about taking your dog to you know see their friends <laughs> their family members i don't know but i'm just hoping that it injects some new life into him he's exhausted i'm exhausted i don't know how dog mom and dads deal with this but it's heartbreaking the last few days i've been feeling really sad and this is my first official pet i feel like a fish out of water but we'll make it happen so vet run and then we're back home well vet run take him to go on a play date and then we're back home but uh, last Saturday, just gone, I was in the lady circle. You may or you may not know, I guess co-host from time to time. And we had such a good time. I had to put that footage in just for a few laughs. Check it out. <laughs> and Tema are being uh, detained for not having their nose masks some 500 of them 500. in the UK you could be getting 500 pounds if you test positive for the coronavirus now this is an effort made by the government to persuade more people to get a test and to self-isolate now this dramatic plan is being considered by ministers following research that suggests that only 17 percent of people with COVID-19 symptoms come forward to get tested because of the fear of losing their income if they stop working so the government is said to be allegedly allocating some two billion pounds a month um, so that they can give you 500 pounds if you test positive for the coronavirus. Good morning. So a quick quack. Let's try that again. Good morning. So a quick catch up from where we left off. I think the last time I picked up this camera, Mega, the dog was sick. He's had a full recovery. He's back to normal. Dare I say he's back to being too normal. The puppy biting, the nipping, the mouthing. Uh, I'm trying to get a hold of that next week. I think I've got a, a dog trainer coming if not next week Maybe the week after so maybe I can capture some footage on that and hopefully Mega will be the best trained most obedient dog in all of Accra uh, Something else I need to catch you guys up to speed with I went on a work retreat to the Ellie Beach Resort in Keta The beach was beautiful. I had a chance to do some reflection oh, and journaling 
that was pretty nice it's been a great week on radio I've been very busy but this morning Sandra and I big booty Sandra and I my workout partner of life we're braving the gym after God knows how long it's been maybe four or five months uh, maybe four months since I stepped into the gym I think I attempted in October I did a about two three weeks at the gym didn't feel as comfortable as I wanted to so I stopped decided to do the home workouts but me and home workouts we just don't vibe we just don't vibe so today I'm trying to catch some of that old gym feeling I'm only doing a one-day walk walking past with Sandra I'm hoping to get a good sweat on and then tonight I'm on the lady circle it's also Abinakoko's birthday so it's going to be an amazing fun time I cannot wait and I'll see you guys at the gym so we are back at the gym hello big booty Sandra hello apparently the big booty Sandra is causing problems <laughs> Oh, on the so internet, beautiful. some of you want to know if she does indeed. Wait, can you see in the mirror? There's the booty, okay? This is big booty Sandra is actually big booty Sandra, right? Alright, Botosa is not just about how wide it is. We're thinking about the lift as well. Is it high? <laughs> does the booty sit? Does it sit? You see what I'm saying? And yes, sir, it's just chick. That's not what a big booty is. Helen, it's all about. Hello, hello, hello. Raise arguments. So many people raise arguments. I mean, tell us in the comments below what for you is the definition of a big booty. For yeah. me, it's all about the uh, the plumpness and the lifts. You know. You see, it's a, is it a high booty? Because there's some people have a chihuahua, then there's some some flesh hanging at the bottom and it's very wide <laughs> no but this it's a high lifted booty so we're about to do a hit workout and work out the sweat warming up with some skipping and then i'll show you when the circuit is actually set up from filming the lady circle it was a very super special episode and yeah shout out to Evelyn for this beautiful little um, I don't know what this uh, dress is inspired by but I feel like I'm on holiday feel very free and sexy but it was a great show I'll insert little clips in here so you can get a little bit of a feel of what the show was like I would say that we have dissected it and hopefully we've gotten some nuggets yeah. out of it. But let's talk about something that has mm. been trending <laughs> on the inters of nets, as I like to call it. <laughs> Put your hand on my shoulder. Oh, you know what I am talking about. Some of you have been very busy on the internet now. Yes. <laughs> there is a new challenge out there that is currently taking over your TikTok Twitter, Instagram, yes, you. I'm talking to you. <laughs> now, just weeks after Erica Banks, uh, Banks 
Bus It Challenge went viral and earned her the first Billboard Hot 100 hit of her career. Believe it or not, the new one is even sexier. Mm. And it's called the Silhouette Challenge. Yeah. Now, thanks to Miss Chloe Bailey of Chloe and Haley, people everywhere are breaking their necks, their backs, <laughs> and other body parts, probably to try and carry out the Silhouette Challenge. Now, maybe you've been living under a rock, but here's a video to kind of demonstrate what we're talking about. It's PG-13, though. <laughs> It's been a great week. I hope you have enjoyed this weekly vlog. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this OFG vlog. More content to come, more vlogs to come. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!